Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode I'd like to show you the free migration tool of SharePoint and uh, in this case we will actually uh, download it from the admin center and we will try to copy some uh, information from the local uh, PC. It can also be for from a local uh, file share. Uh, it also enables to, to migrate from other on-prem uh, SharePoint, but in this uh, video I'll show you how to do it manually or in a bulk. So let's start. I'll go to the nine dots and I'll go to the admin. In the admin I will look for SharePoint. Of course you need to have permissions for this. So I'll scroll down and I'll go to the SharePoint admin center and on the left we will have migration and if we scroll down we have other migration solutions here you see it's for SharePoint uh, 2010, 13 and 2016 but it also can help if you want to uh, migrate from a uh, local file share uh, once we click download we will see it actually here I have it installed so currently I will just look for it and I will run the tool for the first time. Um, it will ask me to log in to a SharePoint uh, account. In this case, I'm a global admin, but um, you need to see what permissions, at least a, a site owner is needed. Better to have a, a SharePoint or maybe SharePoint administration. So I will go here and I will enter the password don't worry this is a sandbox so it's not a productive uh, area I will need to log in and to put some uh, security code and now that I'm logged in I can choose how I want to migrate and define the source and the target for this uh, migrations now this is a free tool um, there are uh, paid uh, tools. Uh, so here you see I can scan uh, the current content uh, of the SharePoint. In this case, I'll take the file share, create a migration here. You can also migrate your file share uh, through the migration manager. Let's start a new migration. So you see we have two possibilities, a single file source and a bulk. Single means that we just map it one by one. Bulk can enable us with a CSV file or a JSON to have multiple um, sources and targets um, and not to do it one by one. So let's start with a single one. I'll choose the location. So in this case, I'll take it from my uh, documents and I have a folder that's called uh, migration or banner. I'll do OK. I can choose if to migrate to migrate the selected folder and the folder content, or only the migrate the folder's content. So I can choose any of these. That's and you can test it and see what is the result. I'll do next. Here I can migrate it to a Teams, to a SharePoint, or a OneDrive. I'll choose SharePoint. Now uh, it gives me some uh, recommendation for a site. I know exactly where the site is. So I'll copy this uh, URL and I will paste it here. Here we go. And if I click next, it will ask me which uh, document library I want to put it. So let's uh, wait for a second. It gives me the document library of documents <clears throat> and uh, these are the folders that exist. What I can do if I want is to create a new folder and let's call it uh, AMI and actually now I can do next. So the banner uh, folder will go here. Now I can add another one. Again, single, I'll choose documents in, in uh, if we have a file share it will 
you can link it to the file share. I will go here and I will choose this uh, migration uh, folder. I will click OK. Do next. Choose SharePoint. Put the URL of the site. Not this one. This. Here we go. Let's copy this. And um, and now we can choose the map of the actually the, the library that we want to copy everything. So this is done uh, manually. And in a second, I'll show you how we can do it also um, in her um, automatic way. So I chose uh, both of these uh, sources and destinations, as you see here. And I can click Next. And here I have settings uh, what I want to do. First possibility is only to perform a scan. Um, if to preserve permissions, if to automate a mapping, here are some additional uh, functionalities. If you want to filter um, uh, files that were created after or before, if to hide, if to include hidden files. And one important thing here is actually if to run once or run uh, up to five success. And here is a uh, a place where you can actually uh, put where all of the logs will uh, will be saved. Uh, I noticed it once that it also sometimes uh, stores as backup uh, some of the information and then I could not find where it's located. So I can choose here and put the location where the tool working uh, thing is. I will click on save and what I will do is actually start the migration. We will see that it will run um, because there's not so many files there and they're not that big. I expect it to be finished in a second. So um, the next uh, thing is actually that I want to show you how we can um, migrate uh, a bulk uh, number of uh, of uh, locations and everything. So uh, until this is done, we will look at an article that was published, bulk update as uh, SPMT, and actually there's a possibility for a CSV and a JSON. In the CSV, actually we need the first column to be the source, second and third is optional uh, if we migrating uh, from the local uh, file share. Uh, it's relevant for if you're migrating from a SharePoint server. The column four will be the target web and uh, the document library. If you have a subfolder you want to enter, it will be in column uh, six. So I will show you how we do it. Let's just peep and see. We see almost uh, the migration tool has completed. Uh, this has been completed and we will just uh, wait a second. So everything is uh, complete. Uh, we, we can also see actually uh, the logs and if something has failed, we can check and see what went wrong. So we're just waiting for a second until it's completing. We have 34 out of 52. So it, it is done. We see it took one minute, 53 out of 53, 42.51 megabytes, and we can see the, the report. So we see here actually two folders, the log and the reports. Here in the reports, we can check all kinds of things. We could see the summary, the details, and we could also see if something went wrong, each task uh, separately. You could see a summary and um, yeah that's it here you see so uh, actually we will peep and see that it has been completed and we can go back to the list what we see here is actually all of the things I ran now an interesting thing is I can mark one of them and do run incremental 
and it will actually check and uh, just move the things that have been changed. So we saw how all of this is done manually, but as I showed you here, we can create a CSV file that does the following. So I created an Excel that has exactly the same structure we wanted. First column is the source. This is where it's locally. The two a B and C columns are empty. The target is the site that actually I want to move it. The, the next column E is the document library. You see one, two, three, four are uh, a document library called documents. And the next one is called a uh, demo, the last one. Uh, we also have, I set um, specific folders that I want and we should see everything uh, being migrating. So I put it in Excel and I saved it as a CSV. So I saved it as a CSV. Um, and now if I actually choose it, I will be able to, it will create everything uh, automatic. So I will choose add a new migration. This time I'll choose bulk migration. And here I'll look for the CSV file. The CSV file is, should be here. Here it is, SMTP. I'll click open, do next, and voila, it will create all of the mappings. You see, one, two, three, four, five. So this is instead of going each one and setting it up manually, I did it all in a file, and I could put here, I don't know, uh, tens or hundreds of different locations, different sources. Once I'm okay, I can click next, set anything I want, do start, and now it will run for all of the Excel um, information that was there. As you saw, four of them were to the same document library in different folders, and the last one was actually in a different uh, document library and a different folder. So let's see how it's doing. Let's check. One, two, three. And um, it should be over very, very soon. So uh, here you see 82% and we're nearly there. And uh, now if everything's okay, then we can check the location. So one, two, three, ninety percent. We're really close, really close, and here we're almost there, ninety-eight percent. And now we can check actually the the site, the site that we defined that everything should be there. A hundred percent took one minute, and now let's go to the site and see what we had. So. This is the site and all of the four um, first lines in, in the bulk Excel uh, CSV file were in these uh, locations. So we see a demo, demo two, all of these were actually graded. And uh, if I go to demo two, this is a folder that was created and we just see the file that was copied. So um, this is in a summary actually how to use it in a bulk or in a single uh, migration. Thank you for listening. If you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.